Hello guys and welcome to a Clash Royale video. Now today they've brought out, as you can see on screen, a brand new update bringing a lot of new features. Alright, first we're just going to have a little look around and make sure everything sort of works the same. Alright, that silver chest just worked exactly the same. Done, bottom special offer available. Let's have a little look. Free gifts? 5,000 gold for free. One of each trade token for free. And a legendary chest for free. Okay. Well, I'm liking this update already. A magic archer. I hadn't, I hadn't got him. It's quite handy. Alright, we don't want to look at that yet. Alright. Let's go over here. Yep, new trade tokens and everything. Yeah, that's pretty handy. Quite a cool update. So, I've now got myself the Magic Archer, yes. There's only one card I don't have, and that's Bandit. And then obviously, the new Fisherman. So, he's got a weird type of attack, like he's melee. Like, he slaps things with a fish. But he pulls people in with his hook, it's quite weird. Like, it's a new mechanic, we've never seen it before. Um... They've changed the look of Legendary Arena as well for this. Um, it's now the Fisherman's Float. Um, so that'll be quite interesting to see how that works. they changed quests as well to make them supposedly easier. So you can do them in like any game mode and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Um, let's have a little look in the news and see exactly what they have put out. I'm ignoring Pass Royale for a minute, just for a reason. So they brought out Pass Royale, which we're going to have a good look at that in a minute. Um, crown chests have changed with this one. So you now earned in the three tiers of Pass Royale. Each tier contains a crown chest. Every 24 hours, one tier will unlock, except weekends, when two unlock every 24 hours. With Pass Royale, you unlock tiers just by earning crowns. There is no timer for, pa for Pass Royale owners. Crown chests now stack more than once. If you don't manage to complete your current one, you no longer miss out. So you used to only be able to stack two. You now, so if I was not to play to, for the whole season and then play on the last day, I'd have the whole season's worth of crown chests stacked up ready for me to do. They do still require 10 crowns to open, which is not really that much. 10 crowns a day is not a lot. Uh, free tier rewards, so you get the crown chest every day, and um, a free legendary for the final tier. It's a legendary chest, so that's pretty cool. Right, so they've brought out seasons in Clash Royale now. Well, they already had seasons with the leagues, but like a proper Fortnite style. Like, we tip, we're, we're used to them with Fortnite, dare I say it. Like, season 6, Darkness Rises, season 7 was the winter one, you better watch out. Um, so, like, we used to have thematic se uh, seasons, which we now have here in Clash Royale. So, season one, the flood has arrived. Fight through the flood. The flood has taken over. The home screen of Clash Royale has been updated. Uh, battle aboard an all-new arena, the Fisherman's Float, which is uh, a legendary arena for this season. New card, Fisherman, coming soon. And there's two new game modes coming. Take to the Skies, which is air troops only, which sounds quite cool. And then the Fisherman's Catch, which I'm not sure if that's out there. I do believe it is. Balance changes, they've changed a load of stuff. Uh, melee as well has been changed. So you've got long melee, medium melee, and short melee. Um, trophy Road now supports draft card selections. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is what I'm quite liking. Um, wait a minute. Draft seems cool. So quests. We've seen your feedback. Quests have been updated. We now have a wider variety of quests for varying difficulty. Um, they're no longer limited to specific game types, like I say. Special challenges no longer have base rewards. Special challenge reward milestones will compensate for this. Okay, that's pretty nifty. Right. But, let's have a little look at the... F um, not Fortnite. Clash Royale Season 1 Battle Pass. Or Pass Royale, should I say. Right, so the way this is going to work is it works like the same seasons used to. 
um, which I believe is something along the lines of uh, they reset the first Monday of every month, I believe it is. So the current season is 34 days and 18 hours, and as you can see, season one, the flood. Now, um, it's going to go on for the 34 days, like I say. Um, you got the free pass on the right hand side, pass royale on the left hand side. Now, as you go through, as you can see here, we get new rewards. Uh, ooh. These are pretty cool looking new chest type things. They're going to give us. At 30, at uh, tier 30, you get this new thing. New tower skins. That's also come out this season. It sounds pretty cool. These rewards get pretty big towards the end, actually, I must admit. Um, now, here's the only issue. With most games, such as Fortnite, you buy them with the in-app currency and then they'll pay for themselves over each season. It doesn't seem to be the case here in Clash Royale. Now, for the purposes of Season 1 and just testing out and also because I like doing stuff like this, I am going to purchase it right now for you guys to see what it's like. But, um, yeah... But that is my own critical view. Most games they pay for the gym, they don't pay for themselves most of the time. Like, if I can get the gym, like, say if I can get at least one patch way I would get it. Exclusive tower skin, emote chest cards, and more. Unlimited energies for special challenges. I mean, that, that sounds pretty cool. So challenges, if you get your three losses, you're out. You normally have to pay gems to get back in. Don't have to do that anymore. And you can also queue chests to unlock automatically now. So, uh, without further ado, I am going to purchase it. Um, hang on. Alright, so uh, there we go. That's all gone through. Pass Royale unlocked. So now I'm not restricted at all, as you can see. Um, I will be able to just fly through it now. Instead of unlocking a tier a day, I can, if I was to play enough, I could get all the way down to tier 35 today. But I'm not going to. Um, I already have a free pass reward uh, for just the season in general. 1,000 gold, not bad. And then as you can see, tier 1, I get the uh, fish emote plus the crown chest um when you've got pass royale as well you can get lightning strikes on your crown chest and as i go on as you can see um here on tier four there's a lightning there which will upgrade how many lightning strikes i can get on my crown chests um i think it goes up to about six um so yeah that's the uh new pass royale um as you can see up there as well my name has now turned gold and it's also came up right there in the clan chat uh slink matthew yt got pass royale so um oh fisherman's catch entry fee free and that should be 50 gems normally so I can just keep going into this. If I get my three losses and head out of it, instead of paying another 50 gems, I get back in for free. And I can keep redoing that for the whole season with all the challenges. So, if you're one of these people that pays for gems to do challenges and stuff like that, this could actually be cost effective in that way. But it, seem, it seems pricey, £5.00 every month or so so there's pros and cons to it i must admit uh what is fisherman's catch then is it a draft one i'm pretty sure it's probably draft the rewards for it aren't bad all right decent amount of gold and then 50 gems at the end so i ain't gonna say no and let's have a little look at the fit Ah, so it's just a normal game 
the one team gets the fisherman. Wish I'd have known that beforehand. So as you just saw on the right hand side there, he sort of grapples onto your tower and pulls himself in. Pretty cool. Must admit. So at least I sort of know how the game mode works now, I suppose. So let's try and get the fisherman on our side this time. Ah, a balloon works on uh, well then. The rate this is going, I'm going to lose this game. So as you just saw right there as well, um, that's his attack mechanic. He gets his fish and slaps it with it. It's fish slap. I have got nothing to defend. I've got no elixir whatsoever. I'm in a slight predicament. No, he's got the fisherman again. Be good, good for me to uh, get in it. Not having a good game here, guys. Yeah, again he's gonna get it. Right, might as well finish that tower off try and at least get something out of this game. Well, this truly was not a good game. To be fair, I'm not normally the best in challenges anyway. Let's just give him the three crowns. There you go, mate. That's towards your uh, first tier, I suppose. Oh, well, we got a loss. But like I say, it's not too bad if we get kicked out because we can come straight back in. Now, we go back. Look. Pass out, got one crown on it already. Wait, hang on, did my... Wait a minute. Whoa. So that's where it is. Hmm. Oh wow, they've actually changed Trophy Road to look like it's not underwater, like nautical. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's a nice little touch. Well, let's hope I can grab the fisherman this game. Ah, elite barb. Okay, he killed the he killed the fisherman guys. But I've got a good push coming back his way, so not much he can do to handle that. He doesn't know I have a poison, so that tower's definitely gone regardless. Might as well just take it down now. So. Oh, 
copper valve in there so she can get fish slapped. Killed the fisherman with a tornado. <laughs> Good to know he doesn't have too much health, I suppose. Fisherman is pretty big. Right. He does make a significant impact on this game, I must admit. Wow. The way he pulls in his enemies from afar is quite obnoxious. Can I really defend this? Uh. No, I don't stand a chance. He has a rocket, so I'll just rocket so I can win my money. I suppose that just means that I've got to force another tower down. Get pushes going in both ways, and then one tower is guaranteed to fall. I kind of want to get the king tower just for the three crowns. Oh! He didn't even finish that tower off. Oh my god, I think he... I don't think he realised that he hadn't finished that tower. Okay. That's pretty cool. Wait, what do you mean reach 4,000 trophies and get season rewards? I'm over 4,000 trophies. Okay. So, um, I know it was a reasonably short video, but, um, yeah, for those of you who always used to play Clash Royale, and I know there was a lot of people that used to play it back in the day, um, this new update, it's made it interesting, I will admit, um, maybe worth taking a look, guys, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.